Hello, and welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Let me out of this... Oh, I hate that minigame. I don't like blue dark nuts either. Go away. I haven't liked you turds since level 5 of the first quest of the first game. Sure. I don't see how that's going to help anything, but fine. Oh, okay. The eruptions have stopped. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thought that would actually matter? But honestly, though, what kind of storyline deadlines were they on when they came up with, the, with this idea? Repair a broken nut and that's going to stop a volcano from erupting. Seriously, what kind of deadlines were they on when they came up with that story twist? That's the best thing they could come... Oh wow, things definitely look different here. Okay. Now it looks like the rest of the game, well most of the rest of the game map. Oh, there's actually people here now. Okay. What? Never mind. I don't want to know. Oh, there's something there. Okay, now they're opposite. Before they said the same thing, now they're trying to be up. Okay, never mind. I've had enough of this place. Level 4! And like I said a couple videos ago, this time around, unlike the first few dungeons, I will not be completing this level all in one trip through. I will be in here just long enough to get the dungeon item, and then abrupt, then afterwards abruptly exiting this dungeon to use that item to complete the rest of the trading sequence, and get said aforementioned sword upgrade. Afterwards, I'll be coming back here to complete what I left where I left off here. But for now, Because again, that's just always been my thing in Zelda games. It isn't enough that I get the sword upgrades, but that I do so as soon as it's possible to do so. Even if it means leaving a dungeon halfway through. Like in the case of this level. Oh, fire keys. Okay. I didn't know this was Ocarina of Time. Okay. D -d 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 -d. Okay. Whee! I can jump. Uh, no, that's not going to matter. Well, at least these cube puzzles are starting to get a little bit more devious. A little more complex. Not like the like, not like the one in the first level where it's just push the thing up three times and there you go. Yeah. Nope, not quite. Almost there. Alright, that'll do it. Okay. 
Okay. That's it. Yeah. Just like back in level two, from the start of the dungeon, you had to go left to get that key, and then go back to the start, go right using that key. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you dirty... Mm. Come here. Oh, how did I miss that? Screw you, game. What? I can't put... Oh. Oh, because he's flying here. I see. Oh, goody. Get out of my way, you dumb bubble. Um, actually, I don't want to hit that yet, I don't think. Or did I? Yes, I did. Dang it. Oh, shoot, never mind, that's that one. Okay. Go back for a second. Oh, for... For a while. Hit that switch. Get back on there. And again, why can't the mine tracks in this game move as fast as they did in Minish Cap? Actually, I don't think it matters. I don't think you specifically need Ember Seeds for this. Okay, that's not going to work. Anything hidden under here? Nope. Damn. Could use some recovery hearts, game. No, not bombs. I got plenty of those. Oh, goody. Way traps. Yay. Right next to a lava... Well, not right next to it, but close enough. Hey! Watch where you're shooting those things, buddy. Thank you. Only one? All right. Ah, shoot, that trick don't work in this game. Leave the screen, go back, and the heart, the recovery heart, regenerate. Damn it, that don't work in this game. It does in a lot of those Zelda classic fan games, which is great for games like Lost Isle. Holy crap. Oh, don't worry, if you're not already familiar with that game, I will be doing a playthrough of that sometime next year. Oh, this part? Okay. Get rid of some of the annoying keys. Oh, 
less potential interference. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do this, but just pull this as far back as it'll go and run like heck. Okay, I was worried for nothing. Never mind. Oh, goody, these things. Like the Stealth Force in A Link to the Past. Oh, you dirty... Oh, no. Not you guys again. All right, you know what? Warp you to Oz. Well, not really, but... That's right. Come here. I'll get rid of you. Oh, this puzzle? Okay. Like one of the puzzles at level two. Gotta get that field to match that. So, he's... Again, like I said a few videos ago, most most of the puzzles in, the, in these games are color-oriented. I mean, it is the Game Boy Color, you know, in the original ad campaigns. The power of color! Or so they said in the original commercials. Yeah. No, stupid. There. Anything else in this room before I go on? No, oh, okay. Enemies. No recovery hearts. Oh, this... Oh, goody. Too bad I didn't get that ring that negates falling through those cracked floors. Cracked... whatever. Cracked floor tiles. Okay, this could be interesting, you bet. Wait a minute, there's still another one of those guys in here. Get rid of him. Is that it? Okay. Okay, that didn't go so bad. Believe me, I've... <clears throat> that puzzle has been much more annoying in some previous playthroughs. Holy crap. Okay. We're going up to a mini-boss fight. Oh yeah, okay, I gotta get I remember this one. Get rid of them. Ooh, give me eh, 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 eh. Oh dang it, they're gonna disappear. Uh never mind then. Well, at least I got one of them. Get on here, use my seed shooter. Get the right angle and Quit being a turd game. Oh, 
Oh, switch! There, open that up. Oh, this one. Okay, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Do I actually need ember seeds, or can I use just any seed? Well, I actually have to hit them. That helps. Okay, good. It's any seed. Oh, I hit. I suck at these target games. Good, got him. Uh, auto reach. Oh, good God, this part. Oh, I hate this part. Oh, I hit. I hit. Jump. Quit cheating, game. I hate this part. Oh, I did it! Okay, that one was on me. I shouldn't have done it. Damn it. side. Okay. Sometime today. Oh! I hate this part. I swear I hate this part. Oh, I... No way, game. You cheat. You cheat. Okay, I should have went there. What? Bullshit, game. What the hell is that, game? Go right off the other side. What the hell? Screw you. Finally! Yeah! Oh shoot, I don't have a key. Don't tell me I missed something. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I missed something. Oh, okay. Ugh. Heavy sigh of relief. The key I need is in here. Oh, I was for a second there, I was going to say, oh shoot, don't tell me I gotta go all the way back and find the key I missed and then go all the way through that again. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's another one of these. No, I didn't need any. That one was already... Oh, sure, jump right into the lava.
What the heck? Some kind of diamond up there? What? what? Wait a minute. What was it? Ooh. Good. Recovery hurt. Oh, mini boss. Think so? Uh oh! Oh, that! Screw you, game. Come on! God damn it, game. There, I got him. Once. Okay, come on! Twice. Oh, right over his head, you dirty rat. Oh, that, no way, that's the second time it did that. You're cheating again, game. Oh, that got, I got it in the way that time. Oh, now it's right, right below, is right underneath it. Oh, come on, game. Really? Oh, would you stop? Ah, that kid, that one was on me again. I got in the way again. Come on, game. Get it right. There you go. Will I? Definitely nowhere near as annoying as the armored warrior night guy in the Switch remake of Link's Awakening that guards the key to level 6 face shrine. Holy crap. I mean, in the original, or even in the Game Boy Color remake, DX of Link's Awakening, he's easy. But for the Switch remake a few years back, they really made that... <laughs> At least for me, anyways, I don't know. Maybe other people who have played this, you know, the 2019 remake of, of Link's Awakening on Switch, maybe other people who played that version of the game have no problem with that mini-boss, but... Anyways, that warp will be very convenient. So that when I, after I get the sword upgrade and come back here, won't be too far from where I left off. Obvious. Okay, the first of these kind of puzzles. We'll be seeing a few more of these throughout the rest of the game. Get down here, you coward. Alright. The idea is to hit every tile. Can't miss a single one. And there's the dungeon idol. Cool. Now I can go for the rest of the trading sequence. Or go through the rest of you. Well, you know what I meant. Interesting take, by the way. Interesting take variation on the all too Zelda common Zelda item, the hook shot. All right, I will be back there later, but for now, more trading sequence. And where's, oh, there it is.
Good, I needed those. For later. Okay. Now then. I need my feather to get over there. That screen I showed a few videos back. Ah, go away, Maple. I've had enough of dealing with you trying to get that heart piece. I don't want to. I don't want to have to see Maple again until the next game, when I get to do it all over again. Yay! Now I can get down there. Oh, Azora, dude. Dude, you're right here. He's right on the shore of the sea. What is he talking about? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sword upgrade. Broken. What the hell am I supposed to do with the broken sword? Of course, way back. Like last year, when I played through the Ocarina of Time Big Goron Sword trading sequence, during that whole sequence, you got the giant or whatever it was called that was broken, and I referenced this. Yeah. But yeah, what am I going to do with the broken sword? Not like I can fix it. Oh, goody! You do realize what this means, right? I get to go back up Restoration Wall and play that Patches re Restoration game again. Oh joy! Just so excited. I can barely contain it. Not. Yippee! Of course. Up there, well, theoretically I could do a little sequence breaking, but until I've completed the rest of level 4, I'm going to hit a plot wall anyway, so there's no point in even trying, so, yeah. So... Nothing to do here. Actually, hold on. Um, as long as I'm in town. Let's see how they're doing. Haven't visited them then. Visited them since what? Before level three? Before heading off to Crescent Island to get mugged by the toke there and Hello. Yeah, you're welcome. What are you doing? Really? I thought it was... I thought it was killing enemies that were good for Gasha nuts. 45 enemies help some sprout a fully grown tree with an item in. Now you're saying it's helping people? Anyways, okay, no real progress there. So, nothing else to do here. And I don't. 
think there's anything else I can do with the new switch hook other than that last step of the trading sequence, so... Yeah. Since I already on screen made my way up Restoration Wall and played Patch's minigame, no need to show that on screen again. I'll be back for the start of the next video. In the entrance to level 4 with the upgraded sword already equipped. So, see you then. As always, thanks for watching, and bye.